All right, guys, here's a very simple, easy dip for you. First, I'm putting in one brick of Velveeta cheese that I cubed. Next, I have one pound of cooked ground beef. You could use breakfast sausage too in this dip. I've heard it's really good that way as well. I prefer ground beef. So I'm just gonna kind of push that all to the side. And next, I am going to add a can of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. It just gives it kind of a little bit of a kick to it, a little spice. I serve this dish on game day. It's one of my friend's favorite dips, very easy to make. Next, I'm gonna do about 16 ounces of sour cream, so about half this container. And you're just gonna dump that in as well. This is great for parties too, guys. This is a really, really popular dip, and again, very easy to make. Everyone loves it. All right, now I'm going to add, you guessed it, some more shredded cheese. Need more, I love the Velveeta, but the shredded cheese just adds another flavor to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on top. Now you're gonna be tempted to mix this, but don't. I know how weird it sounds, but I'm gonna let everything kind of cook and melt together first, then mix after it's done. All right, now I'm gonna add some wash your sister sauce. Just kidding, I know it's worse to, I can't say it. So somebody called it that before, so that's what I'm gonna say. Now onion powder. You can kind of do whatever spices you want. This is just what I like. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, of course. I put garlic in virtually everything. I love garlic. Just gonna kick it up a notch that way. Now for one of the last steps, I'm gonna add some green onion on top. And guys, as far as baking instructions go, I did this on 350 and I did it for about 20 minutes. As you can see right there, I just took it out of the oven. Now I'm gonna give everything a good mix. Now that everything's kind of melty, it's a lot easier to mix this way. This is just a great, great dip. You could serve this with anything from those little pita chips to crackers. Um, you could put on little toast points, whatever you really wanna do. I just serve it with chips. It's the best way I know how to do it, the best way I like it. So again, you're just gonna give this all a very, very good mix. And the way I serve this is I take a plate with some chips around it, little serving bowl in the middle. Just gonna go ahead and ladle some in there. This is best when it's served hot. So one thing I like to do too is sometimes I'll just go ahead and put it in a crock pot, put it on low and leave the cover off and just have people serve themselves some out of there so that way it stays warm for the whole game or the whole party. Now this is the best part, get to try some. I'm not gonna lie guys, I eat quite a lot of this dip by myself easily. Hope you enjoy.